Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. What it do, YouTube? How you guys doing? Paul the Fifth here of Legacy Studios Nash. You might be asking yourself, hey Paul, what the heck is the smoke in the scene here? Where have you been the last couple weeks? And why did you shave your head? Well, let me tell you what's been going on with me. Real quick, if you've been keeping up with me for some time, you may know that last fall, I was going through some serious health issues and getting diagnosed and trying to figure things out. And that's where I've been the last two weeks in and out and in and out of doctor's offices. I was diagnosed with a cyst about this big, it's about the size of a golf ball on the back of my neck. In order for the doctor to see the severity of the issue, I shaved my head and he also said, hey man, we need you to start breathing a little better, so why don't you get yourself a humidifier? And that's what this is. Quick question for you. We just saw Morpheus talking to Neo about two paths you can go on. That's right, Led Zeppelin reference there. He said that you can take the blue pill, tomorrow you can wake up, everything will be normal, just go about normal life. Or you can take the red pill and you can go down this rabbit hole, as he called it, and learn about all things the Matrix. Quick question, what type of person are you? Would you rather take the blue pill over here, have a hunky dory life, just going through the motions, or would you like to take the red pill and learn more about music production? If you are the red pill taker, I would invite you to go ahead and smash that red subscribe button. That way we can grow this channel together. It gives me inspiration to keep putting out content for you. Myself, I have to take both of these. This blue one is a prescription. When I open the bottle, it smells like rotten, sour, I can't even explain it. That's just simply ibuprofen. This one here helps with the swelling of the cyst. And that one is a general pain reliever. Now disclaimer, by no means am I recommending that you become a pill popper. I'm just following Sweet from a movie that I like. And since the new Matrix came out last fall, I wanted to kind of follow that suit. I do want to help you as a viewer become a better mix engineer and super producer. Recently, I was writing things down and I thought, you know what, here are some tips for you to step up your music production game. If you are ready, let's get into this. Here we go. Yo, my name is Paul the Fear. Welcome to my channel, ladies and gentlemen. As stated before, my name is Paul the Fifth. I'm your favorite Indian guy living right here in Nashville, Tennessee, and I run Legacy Studios Nash. Now, this channel has a wide variety of things that I cover from music production, helping you become a better engineer and super producer. I've done some interviews, left inspiration along the way, and recently I've gotten into showing you how to protect your investment. So a big thank you to all the new subscribers and folks leaving, commenting, and liking those videos. I'll be getting into that a little more this year with my friend Mark Tavius and Matt. Today's video though is all about a few tips that I have for you on bettering yourself and just simply kind of a refresher for the new year getting started. Here's tip number one. And anything that you do, you have to create a plan, right? And here's what works for me. At the ripe young age of 41, I'm old school, even though I've got my Mac Mini over here, my MacBook Pro, and my iPad, I still have to jot things down on a piece of paper with a pen or pencil. Creating a plan. What is it that you want to accomplish? Are you wanting to really get into music production? Is it just a hobby? Do you want to make a career out of that? In coming up with this plan, 
what is it that you want to learn about? Are you wanting to learn about game staging? Are we gonna talk about recording drums? Maybe you wanna learn how to play the fiddle. There's videos out there. So find the topics that you want to learn about and grow in. For example, last year when I had my studio space, I looked like a big purple grape because I didn't know anything about lighting. I used a really cheap webcam and I had lights above me and it reflected and I looked like a big purple grape. I didn't know much about audio or editing. So hopefully in the progression of things, my videos have gotten better for you to watch. Write down some goals that you wanna accomplish. What is it that you wanna better yourself in? Me, I wanna become more of a mix engineer. Something that I'm working on is creating a website to showcase mixing and some things that I'm working on as far as photography. One major goal that I would like to accomplish this year, there is a huge producer right down the road in Franklin, Tennessee. He's worked with a huge artist. His name is NF, you might've heard of him. He has a song called Let You Down. So Tommy Prophet has been the engineer and producer on all of NF's albums. My friend Tim Ashton was here recently that I didn't get to go to his session because of the snow. It's gonna introduce me to Tommy Prophet later on this year. That's gonna be a huge honor when that happens. And tip number two is simply get started wherever you are. You might be asking yourself, Paul, I don't know what to do. Well, part of that is writing down things from step number one, but use the gear that you have. Maybe you just have your phone. Use that to record vocals with. Put your guitar in front of that. If you have an iPad, GarageBand is free. It's included on there. It's also free within your software on your Mac and Pro Tools First is free for you as well. Up here, there should be a link where you can watch one of my previous videos on how to get free software and some recording bundles. And that leads me to step number three. Surround yourself with other like-minded individuals, other musicians, other engineers and producers. I know that may be kind of difficult because some of the health climate that we're currently in, but guess what? There's social media right here, YouTube. I'm gonna go ahead and provide you with a few Facebook groups that have been helpful for me, and I'll also leave them in the description. On Facebook, there is an Apple Logic group, Slate Digital has a fantastic group, and Dave Pensado of Pensado's Place has a Pensado Students. A lot of up and coming and young engineers will ask questions, and I'm sure there's even some seasoned engineers and vets in there. Engineer and producer from upstate New York, Ken Lewis, who did the Alicia Keys Girl on Fire record, he leaves a lot of comments and things that he's working on in the Pensado Students thread. Connect with others. Facebook is a safe place. IG is as well. Reach out to some of your favorite producers. Ask questions, leave comments in some of those threads. Find other pages here on YouTube. Here's a couple that I follow. If you're in the CCM world, MXU Rocks is great. Church Front with Jake Goslin is fantastic. You already know my favorite website, sweetwater.com. They've got a plethora of videos and tutorials for you to watch and learn. And of course, subscribe to my channel here so you can learn and elevate your mixes from here to here. That is my goal. And here's tip number four. If you're able, depending where you are in life, you're never too old to learn. Find yourself an internship at a studio if there's one where you live or join a church tech worship team. They are always looking for volunteers. They're always looking for folks to learn about computers. They're gonna need musicians, whether you play bass, acoustic guitar, if you sing, if you play drums like me. And I'm sure they're gonna need a lot of volunteers to work front of house. What I do at my church is I run the online broadcast. So those are two great tips. Find some friends, start a band, experiment, get some gear. Just have fun in this process. In wrapping up our video today, here's tip number five, or what you can expect from me. It's a new year, so I wanna start from the ground and we wanna build our way up in this music production thing. So I wanna start with signal flow as that relates to analog consoles and digital consoles as well. From there, I wanna talk about types of microphones, dynamic mics versus condensers, their uses and applications. Then I also wanna dive more into Pro Tools and Logic, show you some more tutorials on mixing 
and some producer techniques. One thing that I think would be super cool is to utilize technology. I'm sure you've got a lot of mixes and questions, so why not use StreamYard to do a live conference and share our screen and go over a mix together? I know we may have some time differences, but that would be super cool. I'm sure there's things that you'd like to learn. I'm sure there's things that I could probably teach it. So maybe that's something to look forward to and plan in the future. And one thing that I talked about a lot last year was the studio tours. I'm still working on them. I've got about five done already, but there's a big one, a big, big, big one that I'm planning for the very first release. And it's just taking time. I found that a lot of my friends this year are doing studio renovations. So as they're getting through that process, I will unveil some of their new gear and we will visit some of these studios. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found today's tips useful and make sure to keep in mind, are you the blue pill or are you the red pill taker? If you are the red pill person, go ahead and smash that red subscribe button and let's grow Legacy Studios channel together. All right, guys, my name is Paul, the fifth bit, and I will see you in the next one. I'm out.